Hello everyone and welcome back to Two Bros Game Night. I am your host, older bro. I'm your host, younger bro. And today we continue in the game that won't allow me to click other things because there's a passed out person here. Well, Toko's out again, Right guys. now I need to deal with Toko. Fine. Fine! Toko. Toko, are you okay? No, 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 she's not no, dead, is she? No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good, she just saw, she just saw blood. Oh, it's cold. It's super cold. It's so cold. I think I might catch a cold. Then why don't you leave? <laughs> you keep taking naps in a place like this. I'm sure you will. What? I was asleep. Ah, uh, I must have fainted again. I bet you were standing there staring at me, getting all excited, weren't you? You're not Kyoko or Owie or any other girl. Oh, you, you you're No, on. I wasn't. Oh, then what? Hot and bothered, straight up horny? You're not, Owie! <laughs> okay, so why did you pass out? I don't know. Last thing I remember was me waking just now. That dude. What? Did, what, what did you do to Miss M Morose? Morose! Oh, that's right. Your memory stops and starts each time you switch. Bingo! Bazinga! We share some. Basic knowledge, but our memory are very much separate. And don't say it like that. It's a bad thing. That's very, very bad. Bad, Makoto. It's a blessing as far as I'm concerned. That you can't remember why the fuck you're somewhere or what just happened. God, I, don't I think feel that's like your middle-aged mother. Because even if she forgets something, I totally remember. Yeah, but if you... Forget something she remembers. And vice versa. Yeah, that's the problem. So it like doubled the memory. No, it's it's really not. It it would literally be double the memory if you both remembered all things. <laughs> as opposed to what it currently is, which is on memory and then off memory, and then on memory and then off memory. Are you getting on my memory? That's weird. Shut the fuck up. No, it's more like hat. Like, I have a lot yeah. of kinks, and I think that's weird. Wait, we had to actually be reminded that she can't remember the other... Whatever. What the fuck? Thanks, game. But all I want to know is, why's my little darling? Where's my little darling? Tell me now, or I'll slit your throat. I don't know. I'm sure Pyoki's around somewhere, but he's doing his own investigating. By himself? Oh, no, 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 no. We I can't mean, have that. I assume so. I knew it! I totally knew it! I'm a total pro when it comes to the old things in me. Yeah. Anyway, I gotta hurry. I can't even imagine how lonely he must be right now. Okay. Toka shut off. Her eerie laughter echoed God, behind I her. I swear that voice is going to throw I totally forgot to throat. ask her about the picture. Well, she probably didn't remember anyways. There's no point in asking Genocide Jack anyways. <clears throat> I have more important things to do right now. Why did she faint? There's got to be a reason for it. Okay, so let's look around at all the things again until it says, right now I need to... Fucking hell. Fine. I can't help but notice you, there's a fucking you can't, thing open. You can't investigate. The fridge, it's open. But I'm sure they were all shut tight last time I was I here. thought fridges were supposed to be stocked with food. Okay, so clearly... Yeah, they must be passed out. That must be why she passed out. Fuck it. Right. She faints so easily. Kyoko! It's getting late, isn't it? Are you okay? I'm sorry if I made you worry. No, you don't have to apologize. But listen, about this room. Oh yeah, it's... It's definitely a morgue. Yeah! I suspected as much. <laughs> my suspicions were correct. <laughs> ah, so that confirms my theory. And Toka must have looked inside the fridge, seen what was... In there, and well, there you have it. Yes, congratulations! It's not that hard to figure out. Anyways, you knew she fainted? Of course I did. I'm the ultimate detective after all. And also, it doesn't take a detective to know that someone has clearly passed out. <laughs> I was on my own. <laughs> it doesn't take a detective. <laughs> Gold yeah, star for matter. younger bro. None of that matters. <laughs> I 
imagine she came here to investigate, and when she opened the slot there, oh god. That's when she <laughs> saw the body inside and dropped like a bag of rocks. Why has everything <laughs> gotta be so difficult with her? Anyway, we should close it up. Don't want to leave it hanging open like that. Oh, so you... God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, see, we're talking about the morgue. He quickly sips up. <laughs> yeah, good idea, but, but... Give me a hand with this. No, not your pants. Kyoko approached the fridge, hands outstretched, but suddenly she stopped. Wait, what's wrong? You're unzipped again. Maybe we should yeah. wait a second before closing. You said it. you wanted a hand with the, whatever. Huh? How come? Because Mukuro's body's in the. Wait, Mukuro's corpse? Her body's in the fridge? Just like every other time, the mastermind probably brought it up here while we were in the class trial. The mastermind did it because they assumed we wouldn't be doing the class trial over again. I guess. You may be right. Either way, now I can finally get a good look at the body. Even yes, we get I it. You're gonna have it. You're gonna. Should have had a good look before. No, because she only did basic knowledge of the. She was in a hurry. Right. So she. Oh, that's right. She didn't get a ch chance to check the body. Even though I'm the ultimate detective, apparently my photographic memory doesn't serve any purpose. She didn't get to check the corpse at all, actually. No. That's like she didn't even get to see the corpse the last time. <laughs> I need to do my own examination of the corpse as soon as possible. Look, I know you like to do do a lot of reach arounds when it comes to corpses, but uh. <laughs> Look, when you'll die, I promise I'll examine you further. Anyway, I'm going to find a clue this time, and I'm going to. Grab the mastermind by the tail. That's not the tail. What do you mean? Wait, what should I do? He's totally a Dragon Ball reference. Anyway, why don't you just wait over there like a good little boy, and I'll let you know as soon as. Hell I'm no, finished. bitch! I refuse. <laughs> it's a fridge meant for storing dead bodies. I can't look inside. Well, fuck you. What? Like, if you're not gonna actually do shit, then no wonder she doesn't want you Well, involved. you could probably go back to that one room now. No, I'll just talk to her. <clears throat> I should ask Kyoko about the group photo. Uh, After all, she's Yeah, she too. is. That's weird. Don't let me interrupt your investigation, but I really need to interrupt your investigation <laughs> to ask you about something. Hmm, what is it? It's about the announcement Monokuma made earlier. You mean the one about a hen or something? I didn't take him up on the offer. What? Why not? The only reason he'd give us a hint at this point would be to confuse us, to cloud our judgment. Huh. That, you might be right about that. That is true. I can solve this mystery on my own without whatever, whatever <laughs> hints he may have to offer. That's Excuse a me. good point. Oh, God, I wish I could go back and do the same again. thing, but... What's done is done, I guess. Why is it always the earpiece? Of Why out? is it always the goddamn eye? <laughs> My eye! <laughs> My eyes! Now I wonder. I wonder if he, I wonder if uh, I wonder if Vegeta had that uh, thought going through his mind when uh, Mecha Cooler punched him in the dick. Why is times. it always the goddamn dick? <laughs> yeah, no, it's just like. God damn it, why isn't it the eye anymore? <laughs> I'd rather it be the eye! <laughs> I don't think she's hiding anything from me. Is she right? Did the mastermind forge that picture to confuse us? Seriously, my reproduction factory can't take much more! Oh my god, it's making me ask her again. And again, and again. No, it's the same dialogue. You well, what am I supposed to do? Nothing. You leave. I've already looked through this, but it just said wait over there. Oh, I had to talk about this tarp again. Ooh, the tarp. Hold on. Oh, sorry. I assumed this was bullshit. You know, I think I've seen that tarp like a tarp like this somewhere before. Ah, oh, it's the same one I found in the garden tool shed. That tart. I've seen that tart. tart yes. <laughs> and if I remember, that tarp. Had a stamp on it said Biolab, which is where we are right Don't now. Don't that tart is it's poisonous. It's almost like they're the same thing, and I She's didn't really need to investigate fear. that. Yep, that tarp was used to camouflage yes. murder. At some point, Good someone job. got it from the Biolab. Good yes. job. So who could have... But here's the thing. Who could have gotten the Biolab? Yeah, it was locked. There's only two people. It could be yep. Monokuma and Kyoko. Kyoko. But it seems that Kyoko has never been here before. Yes. I was talking with her, so the only ones... It could be is Monokuma. 
Yeah. Unless someone found a secret way in here, which I'm not seeing. No. Nope. Oh my god! Fine, I'll fucking leave! Just leave. It said go. to wait! Why the fuck would I think to leave? Go, go back to the, the, the one room. Wait, she... She is saying something. She, said, she actually light. said something. Yeah. Um, well, seeing the blue light comes on when a slot's occupied. Thank you. That was... No. We already knew that! Nine lights. Oh, we actually didn't even oh. do that. Apologies. Oh, now you're done. Thank you. Wow. Okay, Makoto, now that you're done throwing your temple tram tram, I'm done. Fuck off, bitch! <laughs> Already? Jeez, that was fast! Jeez! Anyone can do good work if they go slow. Fuck that you! Spirit, That's not true I'll at make all. My report brief. <laughs> Listen, slow and steady so... reins the race. Yeah, but th here's the problem. Some people can't even do the race no matter how slow they go. That's the point. <laughs> you can't say that, like, this is the argument that, like, anyone can write a good story if given enough time. No! There are people who could not write a good story no matter how long you give them. You could give them to the fucking heat death of the universe and they wouldn't fucking write a good story because they can't write! I'm living proof. <laughs> like, exactly! Well, it's not that I can't write a good story, it's just I have, uh... You need to take, grammar like, a issues. lot of writing classes. Yeah, grammar issues is Anyways, what'd you find problem. out? I paid careful attention, like a good detective, to the wounds and the traces of blood, and it seems highly likely that you killed him. Anyway, the stomach... <laughs> <laughs> Bitch! We both just had an entire story arc of climbing back up here where we both agreed I didn't have anything to do with it and you didn't have anything to do with it. Now, why the fuck are you trying to trigger me right now? You see, what happened was. Shut the fuck up and continue Shush, your arrest. I'm the detective. Yeah, and you're Anyways, full of shit. What happened was you were in a coma, but apparently you sleepwalk. So in your sleepwalking, <laughs> you kill the girl. <laughs> <laughs> that is you're full of shit and you know it you sleep walked killed mukuro <laughs> coma bitch <laughs> anyway wound and blow to the back of the head were inflicted after death which you we never wait really yeah. the burnt tissue made things a little difficult but i'm completely confident in my findings so that means neither of the wounds are the fatal injury then what was the fatal injury? She died of shock. Due to the explosion, <laughs> the victim's identity is unknown. They were dead before the blast, stabbed a single time, which was not the uh, death, no. struck in the head, not the death, covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. The only other option were those other wounds, but the file said they were old. Where does it say they're old? Huh? All the Monokuma file says is they were inflicted at least several days ago. I guess I don't see the difference. I don't either. Well, the difference is immense, considering the impression they Listen. give. You seem to be equating several, equating. Equ equating several days old with simply old. However, but that doesn't quite follow. Are we logically. seriously getting into the semantics of like two days ago versus three thousand years ago is a difference? Old wounds, it makes it sound like they've been there forever, like they're not related to the murder. Are you saying they are? But we all got the Monokuma file right after she was killed, right? So if the wounds were at least a few days old, there's no way they could have had anything to do with it, unless the body was already fucking dead when it got there. Yeah. Again... You, again, what you're equating is, we found a dead body. It must have died recently. No, it could have been killed 3,000 years ago. Put in this damn fucking fridge for 3,000 yeah, goddamn would, years. But put on the fucking it's floor obvious it's a, and b been recently killed. It's obvious it's a fake death. Yes. Like. So, yeah, that's the point. Maybe she just never died at all. She was already dead. Again, we don't even know this you're was Mukuro. dead. Yeah. Like, it probably is at this point, but we don't know we that. We don't know. So then. But what if Mukuro herself wasn't killed within the last few days? What? At the very least. 
Certainly you can allow it as one of my many possibilities, can't you? One of many? A detective doesn't have supernatural powers. There's just no way to predict the answer from the beginning. All they have is very good... Uh, intuition. Intuition and the ability to go through po uh, like complex logical chains and figure out out of the nine infinite number of possibilities which one was the correct one. Seriously. I guess you could call that something like future vision. Oh, fuck, we're psychic. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, give me a chart and I can tell you how Admiral Akbar should have died. Uh, everyone knows how he should have died. The how he should have ended said how he should have fucking died. Instead of being... <laughs> like, not even kidding. There, I, like, one of my friends loves Admiral Akbar's character and got super pissed off when he found out that he died off screen. And... Yeah, he and was just like, yeah, the how it should have ended was a better fucking death for ha Admiral Akbar. It had more fucking meaning. It's yeah, like, like, on the other hand, I can't be mad at them, though. The actor died. Did, what, did you want them to have a different fucking oh, actor? so not only did they have to kill off Carrie Fisher's character, they had to kill off Yeah, like, the Admiral Akbar. Akbar's character. I had, didn't know he I'm died, pretty too. Yeah, that's why they had him die, and, like, because he, the but guy off voice screen? But off-screen? Come on! Again, but if they did it on screen, they'd have to get another voice actor to voice Admiral Akbar. Well, to, to kill be fair, him they got screen. Tolkien, but... Semantics! <laughs> Anyways. Anyway, instead, the ideal detective begins by imagining as many possible scenarios as they can. So yeah. it's like I'm a robot from the Detroit Become Human games. Secret teenage robot! Secret teenage life! Maybe I'm more in relation to Ginny than I realize. <laughs> You are Jenny. They envision. Oh, that Marvel character. He was no. nice. <laughs> These possibilities without pre justice, without buys. What? What? Wait. Bias. Sorry. Bias. <laughs> <laughs> that was a slip. We don't have prejudice, but we don't like bisexuals here. <laughs> <laughs> The literal worst possible time to have a fucking slip of the tongue. And in the worst possible way. Oh my god. Look, that, you know what? Fuck this. There's no possible way you can continue for this point. There is no joke we can make that can possibly fucking... No, fuck the bias. <laughs> fuck it, we are very biased. <laughs> uh, we're biased uh, to a lot of things, but what we do agree on is fuck the bias. Uh. No, we just don't agree on the <laughs> fucking piece of shit. <laughs> 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 oh god. I'm dying. Anyway. Well, hold on. Wait a minute. Uh, hold on. Why? So. Why? When did he. Is he alive? I don't know if the voice actors died. Okay, so. Okay. So, Admiral Akbar appeared in episode 6. Yes. He also appeared in episode 7. What? No. I yes. I don't remember that. No, I'm looking at the fucking Wikipedia article where it says this voice actor voiced him in episode 7. Huh? But then they changed the voice actor when he appeared in episode 8. When did he appear in that episode? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a trap! The entire fucking article here is a, is a fucking trap. Yeah, like, I don't remember him in Seven at all. It, oh, wait, no. Well, they have I do, a fucking background I do. character. No, he, he had a couple lines in Seven, I remember. Oh, right. uh, it was uh, when they were discussing how to destroy Starkiller Base. That's when he appeared. No, actually, they're both alive. Because many... What? Here. Many fans expressed disappointment and frustration with Akbar's sudden death in The Last Jedi, calling it abrupt and unceremonious. A sentiment echoed by Akbar's actors... Both of those two people. So Even... both of them were pissed off. He died too. Like, what the fuck? The fucking just... editor was of the film was mad. The guy who edited the <laughs> fucking film was like, this is bullshit. <laughs> so everybody agrees that Admiral Akbar should have had a more deserving death. Got yeah, it. because basically everyone, like, according to this, he's like, 
He's a distinguished war hero, and a lot of people apparently compare him to, like, Winston Churchill. Yeah? So they're like, yeah, he should have had a fucking more distinguished death than just off-screen death, fuck you! Yeah, like, what the fuck? Okay, we can now get back to the episode where we're uh, complaining about the buys. Anyways. <laughs> By the way, I, I, uh, sincere apologies for me. <laughs> that was a total slip up <laughs> of the tongue. The perfect fucking <laughs> slip of the tongue. Keep in mind, all uh, we do is jokes. We don't mean We anything. do all these jokes. Sometimes we make jokes that we didn't intend to make. <laughs> now we have to live with them. Oh, man. <laughs> That's gonna scar me for the rest of my life. That's gonna actually be animated. That right there uh, will be yeah. fucking animated. <laughs> I no prejudice to... except the, without the vibes. Me, younger bro, standing in front of the live audience here. I say A to live the studio audience, fuck the vibes. <laughs> somebody, you know what? Somebody uh, animate that. Somebody make a fucking remix uh, of that. I want somebody to make a song out of that. Just, uh, to, and make it in the Old Town Road. Yeah. Um, like I, I will gift you a year of Twitch gift subs if you fucking make that damn song. I'ma take my horse not, to the Old you know, Town. You don't have to use Old Town Road, but if you use a, <laughs> if you make us a, a a like a decent song. No, I just, out of I just, this like this bits of this episode. With the chorus being, like, and most of the song being about that clip right there. You're allowed, like, I will give you a fucking I, I year just, of Twitch subscriptions. But I just want my character to be I on a horse. I will personally pay for those. With freaking, like, Terminator shades fucking or something hell. with a 10-gallon hat saying, fuck the buys. Anyways. <laughs> and also... Can we move on? And also, it's sponsored by 10-gallon hats. The manufacturers for 10-gallon hats. I don't... I don't There's know probably who a actually, lot of those. I don't know who actually makes... Like the ten gallon ads. Anyways, but anyways, using only their logic about the buys and common sense. <laughs> no, there's no common they, sense here. They, then, as they investigate, they test their might. What they find against each of these possibilities. Oh, the bro won't get that reference because he's never played Mortal Kombat. Of course, me telling you. This doesn't mean you'll be any good at detective work. Even My God! You've My God, girl. Okay, now murders. you are just trying to tr trying to make me like work yeah, harder. Even though Fuck I you. should be the detective here and realize that you solved four murders before I have. Anyway, but beyond using that to solve this particular mystery, you should keep in mind. Yeah, I'll. For the future. I'll that keep it you in mind. I'll keep it me. in mind when I get with you and we have kids in in the Kirigiri household. Fine. Keep Whatever. Me in mind. Kyoko's a cow. Can I leave? So, if there's anything else you'd like to know about the concentration Condition. of my body, the, con the concentration of my body. That's, that How long do you time. last? He doesn't need to know that. <laughs> I expire within the year of 2100. No. <laughs> <laughs> My death should've, day. I should have guessed. She's too nerdy to understand that. <laughs> Come yeah. to think of it, there was one thing. Earlier when I was looking through Mukura's pr profile, it listed her height and weight. Five foot, seven inches, 97 pounds. Vitals were... Those aren't vitals! Which I, even I don't Those know what that means, and I'm a detective. Did I get all that right? You remembered all that? I have photographic memory. They are indeed consistent with the corpse. Okay, so this is her corpse. Mm -hmm. And don't forget about the Fenrir tattoo. There is absolutely no mistake. <laughs> Our victim is, in this case, without a doubt, Mukuro Ikusawa. Thank um, you! Okay, so okay. the body is her body. Is that all you need? Yeah, I think so. so then. then it looks like we have to... We have. we have no further business with Luke Rose's body. But we do have a lot more business with your body. Look, uh, un until, like, she comes back in, like, Jennifer's body movie way. What? Um, the you're not you having my body. She's, what the fuck are you She's talking? trying to Whatever. say that um, you have to have sex with Jennifer's body, which you don't know that movie, before you can have sex with her. No! <laughs> Let's Look, if Sayaka's in here, it's we might be able to do something with Sayaka, but absolutely <laughs> not with anyone else. It's kind of chilly in here. I need your warmth. Wait, are we not going to put the body back? Don't you think it's kind of sad leaving it out like this? Sad? 
Did you forget she was our enemy once? And part of the ultimate despair. But she still got killed. She's still a victim. Have you ever heard the phrase, you reap what you sow? Well, yeah, but still. Well, there you go. You really are naive, you know that. I prefer the word caring. Mm, emotion that I have not put into myself yet. I'll note that for later. Anyway, it's really quite appealing. Appalling. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now, why are you smiling? She could have abandoned me, but she's decided to help me instead. For someone like that, what does it mean to be naive? But anyway, they probably just killed Mukuro so for whatever reason. They're like, eh, you've, li you've lived out your usefulness, woman, uh, think, besides your womb. Again, so I you're think dead. the point is that she has been dead the entire time. That would be interesting. I think we've done all we can do here. Back to our separate investigations, yes. Uh, hold on! I still have one more thing to do. Something I need to talk to Kyoko about. Uh, I need to ask her about this pocketbook. If I don't do it now, when will I do it? Never! She just walks out. <clears throat> hey, Kyoko, I did have one last thing. I know I shouldn't, but I feel like I have to ask. Go ahead, then. On with it. Have you really not seen your dad, even once since you got here? What? So... What do you mean? Well, you know all those lockers on the second floor of the dorms? I do, yes. But to get into any of the lockers, you'd need the handbook of whoever the locker belongs to. Uh, actually, I managed to get them open using the emergency handbook. The one you found in the master's hen... Sorry, headmaster's hen room? Yeah. Interesting. So, did you find anything worthwhile in the locker? I found a pocketbook, and after looking through it, I think it's your pocketbook. Mm, Why is that? What makes you say that? Because... Like I said, only the locker's owner should be able to you get know, into it. You know, there's an easy way right? to resolve this. Go upstairs and use her, like, her She could have borrowed on... someone. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Go upstairs and you have her use her uh, thing on the locker. If yeah. it unlocks, it's her locker. Yeah, that'd be interesting. I can't imagine those lockers belonging to any of us. After all, we only got access to that area just recently. What I'm trying to say is there's no way I could have had access to any of those lockers. And if I did have a pocketbook, why would I bother putting it I in I like at this point, she's not talking to you anymore. Yeah. She's talking out loud, very confused. <clears throat> Everything you just said makes perfect sense, and I agree with it. But there was something written inside. It was about the headmaster, about your father. What could that mean? That video is real too. Video? Makoto. I think everything is finally starting to fit together to reveal a... Cohesive. Cohesive picture. <clears throat> Although, I'm afraid that picture might be worse than anything we could have imagined. What are you talking about? I need to go investigate those lockers right now. I need... To to confirm what you just said with my own two eyes. Oh, let me give you the headmaster's handbook. <laughs> that way you can... That won't be unnecessary. If I'm right about this, I shouldn't have any problem opening the locker with my own handbook. After all, it would seem that it's my locker. Yeah, if she can open the locker, that confirms. <clears throat> Your yeah. locker? If you watch this, it'll all make sense. A DVD? And it says Class 78 Urgent Interviews. I found it in the hidden room after you left. Anyway. I don't have time to explain exactly what I think it means, so just watch it for yourself. I think you'll realize exactly what it means. You'll understand why you found my pocketbook in a place none of us have ever seen before. None of this makes any sense right now, but I guess that means there's a clue on this DVD. I, I thought it was going to be the DVD that she yeah. got from uh, Monokuma. No. Okay, before she uh, continues, we're going to have to stop the episode and come back next time. So until then, everyone God, remember... what is this episode's title? Who knows? The future is very uncertain. <laughs> but what is certain is you guys are awesome, and there'll be more Two Bros Game Night tomorrow. See you then. Goodbye. Thank mm -hmm. you.